This tutorial will demonstrate how to program a Schlage AD400 wireless lock. Select Door Setup from the bright blue menu. Select Add Doors and Hardware. Select the Wireless tab to see a list of supported wireless devices. Select the style of AD400 lock that corresponds to your installation. For this demonstration, I will choose the AD400CY cylindrical lock set. Click Continue. Select OK to confirm the door record creation. Next, we need to name the door. For this demonstration, I will program this door as Training Room 2. Click the Open button to choose the type of reader. A standard reader is a typical reader used for access control at a door. An entry reader is for use with anti-passback. An entry reader works in conjunction with exit readers, often to keep people from allowing others to use their cards for access. Once a cardholder's credential is used at an entry reader, the card will not grant access again till the user swipes the card at an exit reader or for a specified amount of time. An exit reader is also for use with anti-passback. Exit readers work in conjunction with entry readers. Once a cardholder's credential is used at an exit reader, the card will not grant access again until the user swipes the card at an entry reader or for a specified amount of time. This reader can also be set as a facility lockdown with valid credential reader type. This reader would not be used for access. It would be used as a device that will initiate a full facility lockdown when a valid access credential is used at the device. The final option is facility lockdown with lockdown credential. This device would function as a typical reader used for access control at a door. If a lockdown credential is presented, a full facility lockdown will begin. For this demonstration, I will program a standard reader. If the AD400 lock contains a keypad, select Yes to activate the pin pad. You can still schedule when you want the card to require the use of Card Plus Pin. Enabling this option just allows the feature to function. It does not turn the keypad on. We will discuss how to schedule Card Plus Pin functionality a little later in this demonstration. If applicable, click the Open button to choose the desired functionality of the interior push button. The interior push button, or IPB, can function one out of three ways. If the function is set to inactive, pushing the interior push button will have no effect on the door. If the button is set to toggle, pushing the interior push button will toggle a locked door unlocked or toggle an unlocked door locked. If the button is set to lock down, pushing the interior push button will lock down the door. Only users with valid pass-through credentials will be allowed access through the door when it's in a lockdown. For this demonstration, I'll choose Toggle. It's always a good idea to save your changes often during the door setup process. Select Access Timers to continue programming the hardware. The unlock time on the door can be adjusted. This is the amount of time the door will remain unlocked after a valid access. Door Held Open Detect Time allows the user to adjust the amount of time the software will use before it reports a door held open event after a valid access or request to exit is used to open the door. The unlock time and door held open time can be extended for cardholders that need more time to access the door, such as for a cardholder in a wheelchair. Select the Advanced Settings tab to continue. Click the Open button to select the PIM this lock will communicate to. The PIM must have been programmed ahead of time. Please see the Programming an AD400 PIM tutorial for more information. Select the Open button to choose the Wireless Access Point Module door number. The door number was assigned during the initial linking of the door to the PIM. 
select the door as it was programmed on the HHD. To enable the reader, select Installed. Event reporting can be enabled or disabled for the following devices at the door. Clutch position, Rex reporting, and request to enter reporting. Disabling the reporting of non-useful transactions saves memory for more important data. If the bright blue hardware needs to be restarted, access will still be granted based on site codes. This feature can be disabled by checking the option to block access during system startup. If this option is checked, no cardholders will have access until a download to the board has been completed. Video surveillance system event logging allows bright blue events to be cross-referenced with video events occurring in one of the Vanderbilt video server solutions. Select schedules to continue. An unlock time zone can be selected to activate an automatic unlock at this reader. See the Activating Automatic Overrides tutorial for more information. If you will be using Card Plus Pin at this door, you will need to select a time zone to set up when the pin will be required. The pin number will only need to be used during the time zone selected. Card only will be used outside of the selected time zone. As an example, if Always is selected, this door will require Card Plus Pin all the time. If Never is selected, this door will require card only for access. For this tutorial, I will select always as the time zone. This lock will always require a user to present their card and enter their PIN number for access to the door. Select the Ensure This Door is Relocked Automatically at the following time slash days if toggled on lock checkbox to guarantee this door will secure at a specific time during the day if the door had been unknowingly left toggled unlocked. Select the time and days to enable this option. Always remember to save your changes.